we actually have a lot of the new heroes, which is pretty cool. So we'll go through and we'll look at these. And I'm going to try to find, you know, for you guys on this video, as many ratings as we can kind of decipher together. Uh, so we've got this pop-in card, uh, you know, Fernando Morientes, Abedi Pele, Voller. So, you know, what's really interesting is when we had that an original uh, rumored uh, graphic of the FIFA 23 heroes from EA, you had different ratings. And I think what those ratings were symbolizing was probably the World Cup version on Flippin. Obviously, the ratings are a little bit different. And uh, so these cards will be like the hero moment, the heroes. I, I think like they're going to kind of have baby mid and prime icon stages as well. But obviously, you guys can see these cards are probably these are going to be the versions from the start. I think Lucio looks very good with the 82 pace, the 91 defending, the 89 physical. I mean, obviously, he looks sick. Forline looks pretty good, good as well with the 90 shooting. JJ looks really good as well. So I think those cards look sick. Uh, very usable. I think Voller even looks pretty good. Jake also posted about Xavi Alonso. I agree. This is the worst. Like, what is this card, right? Like, Pep Guardiola was already kind of considered fodder outside of FIFA 20. And even Pep's baby is not looking that bad. I mean, 75 pace, 85 defending. Like, what is that? EA is going through all the trouble to add a GOAT like Xavi Alonso. Like, genuinely, great footballer. Amazing player. Right? And, bro, 67 pace. Like, what are we doing? What are we doing, EA? I don't know what we're doing here. But let's figure it out because this is BS, man. So, Xavi Alonso's new card, honestly, looking a bit crap, if you ask me. It's not looking anything special there. Dude, like, Xavi Alonso, man. Like, this card is literally already 80k. And the game... Well, the game is out, but Ultimate Team is not really out. 